Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm going to be showing you this Faber-Castell Manga Art Gothic set. And I'm also going to be showing you this four Pit Pens Manga Black set. I got these as a Christmas gift from my lovely fiancé Matthew. And I'm going to be opening them up on camera and then testing them out and giving you my first impressions. And then I'm also going to be showing um, in my next video the downloadable code. So let's open this up and have a look. I'm going to cover over that code because I want to save it for next time. So we're going to work on that later. And in here I'm just getting out all of the items that you get. And here I'm just showing you the pencils, the little brush. You also get a lead pencil, like a graphite pencil, and this really really fine tipped um, pit pen. Pit pens are really, really nice. Um, they're Faber-Castell's version of very, very fine technical pens, and they also have brush pens in the same pit pen range, which are similar to Copics, just finer. So they're waterproof. They're also archival and fade-proof, so they don't fade under light or under like a long time. Here are the aquarel pencils. I already have a set of these, but a lot of these colours I haven't seen before so I think you get a couple of unique colors especially um, the blue green color 155 and the um, sort of plum red 133 those are quite unique colors and I'll be excited to test those ones out and as you can see this is just sort of like a standard um, little watercolor brush that you get with most Faber-Castell sets just a little brush and that's for those watercolor pencils so I'm going to tuck that in on that side and let's open the other packet here. So in here there are four pit pens. Just took me a bit to get the package open. And you also get like a little booklet um, with just some instructions on how to use them. So let's turn these around so you can see the four different sizes. You get an X, like an XS, an S, an F and a B. We'll start with the XF. It's extra small. That's what I think it probably stands for. It's a very, very, very fine technical pen, like a Rotrig or um, a like a fine liner. And same with this one. They've got a very sturdy like build, and the lid clicks on really, really well. And this one here is the fine, the F size, and then you also get a black brush pen. Now these brush pens come in a box of like 200 colours, they're really really beautiful pens. And here's the little booklet, it just kind of describes sort of how to use the pens and also gives you a little bit of a miniature step-by-step -step guide. And there's a little bit on the back about Faber-Castell themselves and um, where their products are made and their factories and that sort of thing, if you're interested in that. And here it shows that 200 piece box that I was talking about. Uh, that is like a dream product, I would love to have that. So that's a very useful little bit of sort of information, give you a bit of a guide on how to use them. Um, so let's tuck that to the side and let's get into some swatching. So just to help you out, I'm going to be doing on the right side, it's going to be the um, pit pens. And I'm just doing some simple lines and curves just to show you how they turn out. And that brush pen is really beautiful, I really like that. So let's zoom in a little bit. And on this side, I'm just showing you that that small is exactly the same as the small that's there. So you, I've got like two that are the same, but it's probably the one I'm going to use the most. So that's pretty helpful. And I'm just going to draw a little face here. Now that's going to help my camera focus while I do the next part, because it has trouble focusing. But if you give it a little face, it helps it focus. So here I'm just going to be quickly doing each one of the colours and then I'm going to be getting the water and doing a touch of water on each one just to show how they activate. So as you can see, that's all done there. And I'm also going to just mix two colours together, just see how they mix, whether they are able to blend outwards away from where you originally put the colour. Can you pick up the colour and move it? All of those things, just like normal Faber-Castells. And on this side, I'm just putting some water on those and rubbing in to the ink. And what I found is none of the ink spread. Um, the watercolours turned out really pretty. They dried really, really beautiful and true to colour, as you can see here. And the nice mix of colours 
colors there turned out really pretty and that's a nice sort of gradient I created down the bottom as you can see now that the um, ink has dried under sort of that water it hasn't moved it hasn't bled I'm really excited for next week's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the manga art that is on the front so stay tuned for that and have a sunshiny day